glass. Not only can this material absorb and reflect light, but it also can accentuate the beauty of light. The uniqueness of glass is what inspired an architect turned sculptor to use it as an art medium. My name is Ramon Orlina. I'm a sculptor, specifically a glass sculptor. And actually, I finished architecture from the University of Santo Tomas until I went into arts and I uh, chose this, this uh, medium. Unique in a way that I am the only one who's working on glass in maybe even in this region. And what is maybe unique is I developed the technique of doing the sculptures. I had no master, I had nobody who taught me. I get chunks of glass and these chunks of glass, I do the cutting, the grinding, smoothing and polishing, which I learned it by myself through trial and error. Why glass? If I think of me as an artist, light is very important with the sculpture. But in the case of glass, light can go into my sculpture. I can see the other side of the sculpture. So I can see the back. There are cases, more cases, that I can see what is on the left and the right side of the sculpture, which cannot be offered or cannot be seen in other sculpture, which is not glass. Orlina sculptures are not just admired for their form and beauty. Glass is a recyclable material. That's why Orlina's artworks are also good for the environment. It's eco-friendly because uh, one thing is a recycle. I'm doing a recycled glass. Actually, it's a throwaway glass, you know. Before, they don't even know what to do with it. It become a waste, you know. Now, I was able to develop something. So I can be proud to say that, you know, uh, I did something that is pro-nature. I don't cut trees. I don't quarry marble or granite, you know. And I'm doing something which is actually man-made and recycle, which actually I am a, a person who loves nature. Orlina's love for nature began with an extraordinary encounter when he was a kid. He translated his love for nature into his art pieces. I'm a nature lover. No? I like to see the mountains, the clouds. When I was young, and my father bought me a, a air gun. No? In, in our neighbor, there were two birds who were there. Bang! No? Fell. One fell to the gutter. So this one is still there. It did not fly. No? So I said, okay, you're next, you know. Bang! I hit it. It did not hit him, you know. He stayed there. You know? so I said, this is your time. <laughs> Bang! He died. From that time on, I never that's any, any living objects anymore, living things. I felt bad, you know? <laughs> How does it translate into my art? If you notice, some of my uh, subjects uh, are birds, man and a woman, uh, mother and child, and many abstract. Actually, nature is abstract. You know? The clouds, the formation of the clouds, the volcano or whatever are all abstracted. Most of my works are abstractions, you know, because I want to put in the light. So that gives another dimension to the glass instead of just being see-through. My inspiration here is the rice terraces. As you can see, my rice terraces. And as I told you before, my hilika was on the birds nature. This one is also another bird, which is uh, Mes Kihorus. It's the bird, the hawk. No? See? The hawk. Mata. Because we just came from Egypt. You know? This one is a bird. Actually, there's two birds. Yeah? One here, another here. Ito naman, inspired ako ng, let's say, yung ginawa kong parang uh, during that time, we had an exhibition, sabi niya, or something about the Pasig River. Sabi ko, sige, gawa ko ng mga parang, parang water lily, pero gumagalaw, so, yun lang. <laughs> it's just like a flower, see? Nature. Nature. Part of the tree. 
So it's nature, you know. This one can be a bird, can be something, can be an owl, no? Aside from expressing his love for nature in his artworks, Ramon Orlina also takes an active role in eco-awareness. We belong to the uh, group named Ramon. Uh, we plant trees, me and Odette Alcantara, and three Ramons were able to conceptualize the Ramon trees. And I think right now we have, we have maybe uh, planted more than 300,000 trees all over the Philippines. I was also a member of the COCAP. It's a concerned citizens against pollution. We lobby for the Congress to not to continue with the incinerator because these are uh, against our, uh, our Mother Earth. Yeah, Mother Earth. I'm a member also of a Mother Earth with Odette Alcantara. We talk about what is happening to our lake, what is happening to the feces that uh, dies, you know. This was even before those, those feces died, you know, those maraming namamatay na night. Fish. That was even before that, you know. For Orlina, it's important for his art and his message to reach as many people as possible. I like it or I love it when people appreciate what I do. Appreciate that, you know, I did something which is different. Something that, uh, that attracts them. Something that maybe they touch it, you know. I like people to touch my work, you know. Because it's another way of conveying or let's say just like, you know, touching is another sense. Maybe what I want is to people to see what I do. You know, but I can maybe expose it only during my exhibitions. Uh, now, I'm building my own museum. And I'm be opening it in the later part of April. It's in Tagaytay. It's very near uh, New Bali. Actually, it's, uh, the, it's very easy to find. It's so, for me, it's, it's, a, it's a nice place because we put art to the people. Not only uh, horseback riding or ferris wheel, no? We put some culture. These are the things that people need, you know? Something deeper than just buying or eating, you know? Light brings out the beauty of his works but it's his unique skill and philosophy which makes him truly shine. I had originality. I was able to go on my own. Uh, there was uh, nobody to teach me go here or left or right. So I was able to make my own goal. And being an architect helped a lot in, uh, in the development of my art because architecture is science and art. And if you're dealing with materials, you know, you need actually the science. Okay. I want to be remembered that, you know, you know, I developed this on my own and I was compared to the masters of Europe and America. Mm -hmm.